Hey, Bitcoin universe. How's it going out there, guys? Well, today is an exciting day. We've got an Ant Miner S9 in the house. We're going to do an unboxing on. Brought to you from the Bitcoin Miner. And let's see. We've also got an EVGA 1600 power supply. We'll be doing a couple of videos, how to hook it up, um, and a quick review of the Ant Miner S9. So I'm going to pause it now and open the box. Well, this is what we get to start seeing here. We've got a nice little letter, a lot more than I think what we used to get before. Tells us about RMA and our warranty and so forth. Uh, nice. It actually goes in and tells you a little more about it. This is very nice. All right. Let's set that to the side, look and see what we've got in the box. All right, we've got nice packing and everything else. All right, we'll pause the video again and pull this out. All right, so it's a pretty standard boxing they did with the S7. It looks like the exact same casing so far. The board looks a little bit bigger, but we'll go a little bit further. All right, let me get this thing out of the wrapping and we'll go from there. Well, it looks almost identical to the Ant Miner S7 so far. Um, it might be a little bigger, but I'm almost sure it's the identical size. Except we've got a little different here with the top. We've got a, now an SD slot. Um, your restart button, Ethernet. Yeah, it looks almost identical. Um, looks, it's kind of interesting how they spliced the wires here for the fan. Um, hmm. Well... Here we go guys, this is the Ant Miner S9. One thing I'll say right now is it's quiet. <laughs> it's not plugged in yet. So uh, guys, well, let me um, start the process of showing you how to hook this up. We're gonna use an EVAG, EVGA 1600 T2. I did a video earlier explaining why I prefer uh, this power supply over some of the other ones. Key one being is the over voltage protection. Uh, basically you don't need to get a uh, uh, a surge protector it's basically built into the device so um, now what we're going to do is I've got all the wires nicely laid out over here I've separated them you're going to want all of your VGA wires these are the VGA wires with two connectors on the end so there's one that goes in the plug end of the uh, power supply and then the other two would go into the ant miner. Uh, these over here are just single run wires. And I'll explain why this is important a little later on. We've got our heavy duty power supply and we've got our motherboard cable. So now what we're gonna wanna do is first thing is first, we're gonna wanna take this little clip at the end or you can always look up the paper clip trick if you don't have it. And we're gonna plug this onto the end of this wire, and this would be a little easier if I didn't have to do it single-handedly. So I'm gonna pause this again and start the setup. Okay, we plugged our little cap on the end now, so what this allows us, the power supply to do is to run without a motherboard. Uh, it basically, you can just use it to power any device, i.e. the Antminer S9. Uh, that just plugs in right here. Uh, they are actually labeled. And it's the MR, or excuse me, MB uh, slot right there. Plug those in. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to get one, two, three of the single wires. Now the reason why I want one of the single wires is I'm going to take each one of these wires and I'm going to run one wire to one board to one side of each one of these. So this is gonna be rail one, rail two, rail three. Not sure if this is gonna make a huge difference on this part of it or not, uh, but this is my preference of how to set them up and this is how I prefer to teach you guys how to do so. This is what I believe is the correct method. All right, so I'm gonna pause this again and go ahead and start that. Okay, so now we plug each one into each side. As again, these have the six pin. Oops, let me focus, here we go. So it goes to the six, you have to put the two together to get the eight. 
Uh, we're only going to be using the uh, six pin for the Antminer S7, so you don't have to worry about these for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this single plug from this side and we're gonna plug it in. Woohoo! Well, that was bad for the video, but it, everything will be okay because it fell on the cord and protected itself. So, um, can't fake that kind of stuff, can you? <laughs> All right, well, I guess you could, but hey. All right, uh, so I'm gonna lay this bad boy down for this right second. I'm going to take this other wire, bring it over here, plug it into this board. I like to click them, make sure everything's done. Oh, I forgot to mention the very most important thing, when as soon as you get your amp miner, as you can read in the directions, they say make sure to check it uh, for any loose uh, heat sinks because it will extremely damage the machine. So before you ever power it up, give it a light jiggle. Um, there are gonna be a little bit of noises on here. Uh, that you'll notice I can't really hold the phone and kind of do it at the same time like this right here you'll notice moves each board so those are the kind of the normal noises uh, if you start to hear anything other than that or something rattling on the inside of it more so than that, you may have a loose heat sink and you may want to investigate it further and also contact your uh, uh, RMA, uh, start the RMA process or contact your customer service at Bitme. All right, so now we've got one to each one of these and I'm gonna pause the video one more time and plug in and get the other wires out. Okay, well, we're gonna need three of the regular VGA wires, three sets of them over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and pre put these three in um, and I'll get right back to you it looks like a wire mess right now well just so you guys can see I plugged in the next three in the next row down straight across one two three all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug these in so now what I want to do is the first one I want to plug that from the same rail, from the same side, from here down, I want to plug that in the same side. So we're going to use the two cables. There's one here and one here. Okay, that's all it is. Those two are hooked up. Let's get the next one, which is here. Okay. All right. Last one, guys, is right here. Make sure that they clip well. I'd like to check each individual one as I go. There we go, that one just clipped. All right, let me Step back just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So there we go. That's it, guys. Now let's, I'm going to pause this one more time and I'm going to power up. Okay. So now I've laid it down. I've got everything a little bit easier kind of set up. Took the power cord, went ahead and plugged in. It is off, nothing is plugged in yet because there is one more cable that still has got to be plugged in, guys. We still have got to plug into the board, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I just plugged it in the, one of the three remaining ones on the top. I used one of the last single ones that was available. I'm gonna take this over here. And... Plug it in, all right. All right, I don't have internet connected to it. Um, I will have to go put it down to my hosting station, but for now we can turn it on. Let's see how it works. Ooh, it already 
already seen. It sounds beefy. Well, again, I don't have any internet, so I don't really know exactly how far we're going to get with it right now. But it sounds really beefy, guys. So here's the conclusion to our powering up your Ant Miner S9 and a quick review. And I will uh, update this video with a second part as I plug it in and actually get it tested with internet. See you guys.